Johnny Dooley has gone into midfield straight away. That's the switch that uh, Offaly has made. Johnny Pilkington alongside him. Sean McMahon with the first clearance of the day for Clare. Downfield it goes towards David Ford. And David has popped up, as you see straight away, at top of the left. Changes of plenty. John Troy has gone into full forward, as you see there, being marked by Brian Lowen. And we'll try and make sense of the rest as the match gets underway. Michael Dignan, for instance, he's right half forward on Anthony Daly, Clare's team captain. Simon Wheelahan knocking a brilliant line ball down towards John Troy. Knocked ahead towards Billy Dooley. Joe Dooley's there as well. Michael Dignan trying to kick it ahead. Anyway, we'll do. Billy Dooley with the hand pass back towards his brother, Joe. Got the first point of the match seven days ago. And he's done it again. An amazing start by Offley and by Joe Dooley. Getting that first point after about 45 seconds. It followed that brilliant sideline cut by Simon Wheelahan. The hand pass back from Billy Dooley to his elder brother. And Offley take the lead. That's Alan Markham wearing the helmet at the start of the match. Fergie Tui, one-handed forward, stopped by Kevin Martin. Down towards Joe Errity. A very fast start to the match. Didn't make a great connection, but still got a good ball into Joe Dooley. Can he produce the second point of the day? He can. What a start by Joe Dooley. Operating at top of the left. The man who is marking him, by the way, is Brian Quinn. But Quinn gave him an awful lot of latitude after this ball was played down here for Joe. Good turn and a very good shot. Now listen to the Offaly fans. They got a lead off the last day. They don't particularly like playing in Semple Stadium. It hasn't been a lucky ground down the years. But they're doing pretty okay so far. Brian Wheelahan, remember they also led by two points seven days ago. Nicely taken up by Brian Quinn. Trying to get it out towards Frank Lowen. Stopped by Joe Dooley. Picked up by his brother Billy. But uh, colliding into him is Sean McMahon. And that's going to be a free in. And Billy down there, wounded and in some distress. Watch from McMahon coming in. And he really took the wind out of Billy Dooley's sails. But now John Troy can put them three ahead. It's a very good position for him. Some 25 metres out. Very light breeze about. And John Troy plays it over the bar. His first free, his first point. John playing in his 23rd championship match. That's a great catch by Brian Wheelahan. Left-handed and then right-handed away. Towards Paddy Mulher. He's playing at left half forward on Liam Doyle. A man who looked much more like himself in the uh, second game in what we assume is going to be a three-part series. John Redden. Oh, that's gone straight to Kevin Martin. Now Johnny Dooley. Dooley has been marked here by Frank Lowe. It's uh, Billy Dooley, in fact. Two Dooleys operating in and around the half-forward line. This is the catch just a moment ago here by the man who's now about to step up and take the free. Brian Wheelahan, unusually less than effective at half-back last time around. But in the first game, remember all those long-range frees? This is from just inside the 65-metre line, and it's perfectly positioned and goes straight over the bar. That's a great start by Offaly. And Clare have now given them a four-point advantage. Not as great as the advantage, I think, that Derry gave to goal because in hurling it's so faster, so much faster, and so many scoring opportunities created. Nice pick up here by the Munster and All-Ireland champion star Jamesy O'Connor. That's a free to Clare, and they're bringing up Sean McMahon to hit this one. This is just inside the 65-metre line. That's a great shot. He's done it so many times before here in Thurles. And Clare get their first point with just over seven minutes gone. Down towards Zerity. Dignan has it. If anything, the jeering and the booing is serving to just motivate him even more. Here's Joe Dooley. Made a great start to the match. Trying to link over there with Paulie Mulher. This is Anthony Daly. Ollie Baker, cleverly working it to John Redden. The 19-year-old looking for his first point in championship hurling at senior level. And it's come in the 11th minute. That's 
that's a tremendous point by John Redden forming a solid alliance with Ollie Baker in midfield and only two between them but it was the two midfielders who combined the hand pass from Baker but that wonderful shot off his left from John Redden here's Brian Whelan first chance then for Gary Hanafy Sean McMahon inside here towards Fergal Hagerty the man from Kilnamona his brother is also a member of the panel David Ford, that's a lovely pick up by Ford and he drives it over the bar so now it's six points apiece down towards Joe Dooley skids away from him picked up by his brother Billy the hand pass outside to Gary Hanifer here's his chance he had the latitude he puts it over the bar and awfully have a two point lead Hanifer's first score since been introduced as a sub just minutes ago and it's eight points to six this was just that hand pass outside there brilliantly by Billy Dooley to Gary Hanifer and he did the rest nice catch by Johnny Dooley Offley made the better start in this match led by four points then Claire got ahead five points to four there's a late pull there and it's going to be a free from where the ball lands and there could be a Claire man in trouble here it's Ollie Baker I think being isolated by the referee the man who's down injured is Brian Whelan the lecture been given by Dickie Murphy to Ollie Baker Ollie is getting the name taken, Brian's getting the treatment, and it's a booking for Baker. So still some concern and some running repairs for Brian Whaling. We'll see it again here. Baker coming across, and he chopped down onto the hand, in fact, of Brian Whelan. So the free now will be from where the ball landed. The foul occurred about 30 metres out. The free is 60 metres from the Clare goal and Brian Whelan has come across to hit this one can the man who was fouled complete this movement with a score the answer is a very definite yes two points from two frees by Brian Whelan and he's opened up a three point gap against the Munster and All-Ireland champions Johnny Dooley up towards brother Billy Frank Lowen gets there first Billy persisting comes back off his foot back to Lowen but to borrow his way out here with skill and with class well the pass was intended for Fergal Hagerty but it was always uh, getting closer to the sideline it's going to be Brian Whelan to take it having a tremendous match good cut up to Joe Dooley racing out ahead of Brian Quinn Brian Quinn again beaten by Joe Dooley now the angle tight enough but not so tight that Joe can master it to get his third point of the match and certainly Brian Quinn will remember his afternoon marking Joe Dooley and it's 10 points to 6 it's a great start to the second half for Offley but look at the pace of the veteran and Joe Dooley swings it over the bar in his 15th championship season remember Gary Hanafy going up to take that one Johnny uh, Dooley hoping the ball would bounce up nicely for him had to get it the second time putting in the shot again and that's another fantastic shot Johnny Dooley puts it over the bar and the gap widens even more defiant Offaly fans they wanted their second match as it were feeling they were denied last Saturday they've got it and their team is taking its chance Redden trying to get away from the challenge of Gary Hanafy next into challenge Michael Dignan flashing shot inside there towards the Sparrow breaking it down Ford coming back onto it 20 metres out and that's got over the bar it's Ferris first point of the second half and it's credited to David Ford his second point remember one of his earlier efforts was uh, saved by the goalkeeper high up over the crossbar and cleared but that's point number two and now the margin is down to four points now the Clare fans coming to life once again. Stephen Burns, mighty puck out into the middle of the field. Ollie Baker, tremendous catch with that right hand. Looking up, showing awareness. Pilkington's after him. Baker still hampered by a back injury. Clearly hampered in the first half. 
and not at his most effective but now a look at disbelief on his face as the uh, linesman gives the decision off of his way Wheeler and about to take it great ball well taken again by Sean McMahon another player to discard the black helmet David Ford still wearing his angling this one across towards Niall Gilligan making the catch that's important getting away from Hanami and it's over the ball Striking another bit of good form. Gilligan's first of the day. So valuable. It's when he got out there ahead of Martin Hanami to take possession cleanly. Look how far he had to go out to get enough space. But he got it and he made it. Three between them. And so John Troy goes off. And John Ryan is back in. And he's gone in at full forward. Danny Scanlon's over there contesting, but Michael Dijkman trying to get it up on his stick for Offley. Runs out of space. Anthony Daly saying it should be our sideline ball. Ollie Baker preparing to take it. Baker, a point to his credit so far. This is a great ball in. Deep one. Beautifully caught. And it's a great save! save of the game so far most exciting goal chance from Ollie Baker right in there to the danger area coming across was Alan Markham what about that for a fantastic save Joe Dooley in there against two men from Clare one of them Jamesy O'Connor Jamesy driving it down towards Niall Gilligan Alan Markham there too it's Markham who gets there first the man who was denied a goal just seconds ago Inside towards Gilligan, breaking it down towards Scanlon, they've got a man over, a great save again by Stephen Byrne, two fantastic saves, Markham on the follow-up, what a hero awfully have got this afternoon and their goalkeeper Stephen Byrne, rated one of the best young goalkeepers of the year, another block there by Brian Whelan, comes out to Danny Scanlon, Scanlon on the left-hand side hitting, it's gone harmlessly wide, just listen to the awfully fans behind the goal now, what about this for another save? There were two players over here. Danny Scanlon hit it, and Byrne got down brilliantly. Tremendous. Fergal Hagerty coming across to try and take this one up. Instead, it's Brian Whelan. Head down, full of direction. Gaining valuable ground. Nicely inside for Hanafi. And that's got over the bar. A second point by Gary Hanafi. who will take success with them at the third attempt from Semple Stadium still plenty of time remaining but Hanafi's second point has opened the gap to four points Brian Whelan again breaking it this time to uh, Johnny Pilkington Gary Hanafi going across looking weary the Clare team have given it everything but they're also looking terribly terribly tired as Gary Hanafi hits over his third point and with five minutes to go, the betting has to be on. A Kilkenny versus Offaly rematch. They met in the Leinster final. Are they now just minutes away from meeting in the All-Ireland final in two weeks' time? Outside to Ali Baker. Low ball this time. Down towards Markham. Takes it up. There's still time for Clare. Alan Markham still going forward. Markham trying to get inside into that large rectangle. Here's the chance. It's stopped again. Fantastic save by Stephen Byrne from Fergal Hagerty. That was amazing. And this is an amazing goalkeeper. The shot there falling in the end to Fergal Hagerty. Three wonderful goal chances. And that stopped brilliantly. We are now nearly two minutes in injury time. That man looks sad. Byrne knows it. champions are out they were bidding to get into a third final in four years but they've been denied as I said in the Offaly dressing room I suppose if we had to choose any team to lose to it would be Offaly because uh, Offaly were the team that gave the inspiration to all of the players and the Wexfords and everybody else that made the breakthrough you know they were they were one of the first teams that, that really broke the strangled hold of the big three and uh, 
Today they gave a tremendous display. You know, both teams they gave a tremendous display. We are really, really proud of our lads. Our backs were to the wall, we were just hanging in there. It looked as if we'd be trounced at one stage. We ended up only being beaten by one score. It's by a better team on the day. We have no complaints about the results. Offaly were tremendous all over the field. They have fantastic players. Now they're in the All Ireland and we wish them the best of luck in the All Ireland. It was a very, very tight, close game. I didn't enjoy one minute of it. I was told it was a, a classy game. Uh, I'm delighted to have won. Uh, it really proves me right and proves all the selectors and everybody involved with the team that they're a fabulous team. They work so hard and they're a very skillful team. Uh, I have to say that I'm very sorry for Clare because the thing is that after three matches, nobody deserves to lose. Well, yes, a terrible situation for Clare. There shouldn't have been in yesterday's replay in the first case, perhaps. But that's not to take away from Offaly's performance, which was highly impressive, as I have no doubt Cyril Farrell would agree. Fantastic.